We are the Gator Boys. The aquarium got a call about a crocodile being in a construction area. And it's actually keeping the workers from doing the job. I wanted to try to snare the mouth shut, so I went in front to tap the jaw to get him to come up out of the water. Mistake. Big mistake. I tapped him, and the thing just went airborne. If Chris didn't have him, that thing would have just freight trained me. If you slip and fall while he's jumping, you're going to fall into that mouth. Hold up, Chris. Just pull him up in the rope. All right. Get him out of the water. Pamela, grab that rope. Watch out. Ready? Yep. Watch your head. All right. Just get some extra weight on this joker. It's great having these guys here from the aquarium, because once I get on the croc, we can have some extra beef on the uh, on the back of the animal to hold him down. Yeah, push all the way down. Hold him, hold him steady. Uh, when he feels that weight, he's less likely to struggle. This croc is definitely big, but it doesn't match the description of El Diablo. If there's a bigger one out here, I'd love to see it. Arm hit all the way. Up. <clears throat> push. 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 Muchas gracias. Thank you very yeah. much for coming. Beautiful, beautiful croc. Beautiful croc. What I learned today is it's very important to work as a team. It's kind of a group job and it came up really well. Bye-bye. How's the go? Hasta luego. Pull him up the sand. Didn't get banged up at all. It was actually a pretty good catch for him. Uh, then put him in a crock box and take him back to the aquarium for probably a month or two, I'd imagine, they get this thing fixed.